السلام علیکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس ویلکم ٹو انگلش آن لائن کلاس فار گریٹ سکس آئی ایم یور انگلش ٹیچر اینڈ ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ریڈ آور نیو یونٹ اینڈ دیٹ از یونٹ نمبر فور دا نیم آف دیٹ یونٹ از سیل اپیل سو اوپن یور بکس ایٹ پیج نمبر نائنٹین سیل اپیل سیلس Appeal means attractiveness and sea, seal is the name of the sea animal. Let's have a look on some pictures of seal. This is the picture of seal. You can see that this is very big in size. It lives in the cold water as well as in the hot water. Now see at this picture. Look at it. Here two seals are lying and they are also very big in size. This is the third picture of the seal. It had opened its mouth which is very big. Okay, let's start it. Seals are large mammals that live in the sea. Seals are actually the big mammals mammals are those who do not lay eggs but who give birth to the babies so the seals are large mammals and these uh, animals live in the sea these are the sea animals most mammal which include humans do not lay eggs instead they carry their babies until they are ready to be born It means many of the mammals they do not lay eggs and instead of laying eggs they give birth to the babies. Bachche paida karna jise kehte. Seals can be found in all the waters of the world from Arctic and Antarctic to tropical water. Clear? It means that the seals can survive in both waters. It means the arctic and antarctic are the oceans that they are the cold oceans clear and their water is very cold and they can live in the cold water as well as they can live in the tropical waters tropical means very hot and humid seals store plenty of fat called blubber actually seals are having a thick layer of fat in their body and that fat is called blubber their blubber keeps them warm and can be used as a source of energy so their blubber it serves to clear it serves to works clear that is their blubber keep them warm and it also provides energy when they are fasting means there is nothing to eat for them so their blubber can also can be used as a source of energy for them if they are having nothing to eat understood seals can be nuisance to fishermen because they watch to grab fish from nets or from fishing line seals can be nuisance to fishermen actually seals are not the harmful animal they do not cause harm to anyone but sometimes but sometimes they what can they do they can be the cause of disturbance or they can be the cause of annoying to the fishermen and who are the fishermen fishermen are the man who catch fish and who sell fish clear so uh, sometimes they can be nuisance to the fishermen because they watch to grab fish from the nets or from fishing lines the fishermen use nets or the fishing line to catch the fish they put the nets or the fishing line in the sea water to catch the fish so when the seal see that uh, the fish is grabbed in the nets or the fishing line so it moves towards the nets or the fishing line so this can be cause to the um, disturbance to the fisherman while they look friendly they can also bite 
actually i have told you that they are the harmless animals they do not cause any harm to anyone they look friendly but sometimes they can also bite so swimmers need to be careful when seals are here by so those people who are fond of swimming and if they are swimming in the sea water so they have to be very careful they should be very careful while swimming and especially when the seals are nearby seals use their coarse sensitive and continuously growing whiskers to search for food uh, for searching for food the seals use their whiskers do you know what is whisker whisker is a long projecting hair grow near the mouth clear in the picture you can see clearly there are long hair which grow near the mouth of the sea understood so the seals use their whiskers to search for food the seal sweeps its upper lip to and fro the seal cleans sweep means cleans its upper lip to and fro it moves its upper lips and uh, it constantly moves its upper lips using their whiskers and it also use its whiskers to detect fish in muddy waters to detect means to discover to find out and muddy waters which are full of mud so muddy water is not a clear water it is not a clean water so for the seal it is difficult to find their food to find the fish in the muddy waters so the they use their whiskers which is useful which is helpful to determining in the determination of the presence of the fish clear they have flippers for swimming and watering so they are also having flippers which is helpful for swimming if they swim in the sea water so they use the flippers for this purpose understood seals have large round eyes which are able to focus both above and below water seals are having the big but round eyes their eyes are round in shape and these eyes are able to focus both above and below the water if the they are in the water they can focus their eyes on the prey on the fish and if they are above the water they can also do this they have an excellent sense of smell they are having the sharp sense of smell as well which allowing them to detect predators they are having the excellent sense of smell good sense of smell sharp sense of smell which is helpful to detect them to find out to discover the predators predate predators are actually those animals who kill and eat other animals clear females also use their smell to recognize their pups so the female seals the mother seals they also use their sense of smell to realize to recognize their pups to recognize their young ones to recognize their children while swimming the nostrils are kept tightly shut while the seals are swimming what do they do they tightly closed their nostrils what is nostrils nostrils are the nose holes so they um, keep their nose holes very tightly shut seals hear very well both above and below water so see the hearing sense of the seal is also very sharp very good so they can hear when they are in the water or they are above the water females and pups often call to each other when the female seal and the and their pups they are if far away from each other so they can call each other by using by producing different sounds from their mouth understood seals also make growls and grunts under water seal also make growls growls means the sound which is made by animal grunts uh, is having the similar meaning means the short low voice noise made by the animal if they are under water they can growl and they can grunt under the water especially during the breeding season especially in that period when they give birth to the baby 
where or in other words you may see during their producing of spring season understood seals are able to hold their breath for a long time during dives seals can also stop taking breath for a long time when they dive into the water during their dives they dive and then they come up again they dive and then they come up so dive means to jump into the water so during the dives they also hold their breath for a long time and how can they do this they can hold their breath by using the oxygen where that oxygen is stored that oxygen is stored in the blood in their muscles as well as in their lungs by the help of it they can breathe they can take they can hold their breath for a long time they can sleep under water under the water they can sleep easily and they can even surface to breathe without awakening and in the sleeping condition they can up the surface of the sea for the purpose of taking breath without awakening means they can up they can come up on the surface of the sea in the sleeping condition without waking awakening means the act of waking clear i hope you have understood all this uh, let's move towards the meanings here are some words meaning so you can note it down with you tropical tropical means very hot plenty enough blubber fat grab catch cars rough horse detect discover grunt sound made by animal or noise made by animal whiskers long projecting hair that grow near the mouth breeding producing of spring to and fro moving from one place to another and back again predators an animal that kills and eats other animals awakening act of waking and nuisance and noise now this is your home task homework you have to do exercise b on page 20 this page uh, this exercise is on, on page 20 so you have to solve it with the help of pencils in the next lecture inshallah we will discuss it